Well, hello everyone. Gila back again. Welcome to my channel. It's some top and shorts day today. I've been busy in my garden. Oh, I need to sit down. <laughs> I need to sit down. <sighs> it's absolutely roasting here today. I don't know what the temperature is in the, um, near Newcastle today, but it's really hot today. And I've been busy in my garden. Doing the um the front digging some of the front border because um my granddaughter's partner Craig was up um oh I'm not sure how long ago over a week ago and he just skimmed there was a lot of weeds I haven't dug it over this year got no flowers in or anything like that and it was just a lot of weeds and what was left of the daffodils and things um and he just skimmed over the top with the um the strimmer while well, all the weeds were starting to come back in again and needed the only thing I could do really was to dig them over so that's what I've been doing today and it's rather hard work at my age there's only so many times you can bend up and down <laughs> so I had to put my lounger out um, and sit down so I made myself a cup of tea and while I was had the tea there, I was letting it cool and I was doing a little bit knitting while I was sitting there. I got a little bit of one of the sleeves done. But I couldn't get very much done because it was too hot and my hands were sticky and it was making the stitches the fact that all are now they don't slide up and down on the needle now because you can't knit properly when your hands are when you're sweaty and uh, sticky and that. So I had to give that up. So I just sat for a, um, a while and I had my um, cup of tea and that and then that's, it was a little break in between. I had to have a break in between and then go back to um, doing a bit more digging and as much as I could manage. I'll have to wait till tomorrow. I'll do some more tomorrow. I'm not going anywhere tomorrow so at least I think I'm not going anywhere tomorrow unless I get a phone call off um, Craig because um, He's been laid off from his job so Cheryl can go out to work while uh, he's there to look after the kids. Only more times than enough I get message when Cheryl's at work, you know, to come down and you doing anything, Sheila? <laughs> so, unless, um, I'm more than likely Cheryl will be at, um, at work. She works in one of those nail salons, you know, she's all those fancy nails and things like that, that's what she does. I don't mind doing, I'm not that way inclined, I like them just, just the way they are. <laughs> I don't like all those fancy things I put on your, um, your nails and that. And some of the one, look at how her Cheryl's and they're so long and that, I wonder how she can manage to do anything um, when they're like that, but that's the young, the young these days, isn't it? But anyway, I've been sat there doing my little little bit gardening and then a little bit rest and a bit more gardening and then a bit more rest but it really was a bit too hot hot today so that's why I had to give it um, up and that give it up for uh, another day so I'll get back to it um, tomorrow and I'm hoping to get a little bit more of this knitting done tonight I might get the sleeve finished but I usually sit, because I've been doing, it's my back garden I've been doing most of the time, so I'm usually in the back garden all the time, but it's nice sitting in the um, the front and watching what's going on, you know, all the people coming backwards and forwards and <laughs> watching what they're up to. And and I was waiting in case anybody was going to park over my drive, because I was going to have them if they did. <laughs> but they didn't. The girl next door went out um, to Dean, she was out most of the afternoon, so... I think there was one car came, well, it must have been as she was on her way home because she came across the the green about the same uh, time. But he looked like, he didn't look like a friend. He had a folder and papers and things in his hand, so he must have been something, something professional thing that um, he was there for. But he didn't park away, he left plenty of room. He backed up, he did actually park. He drove up onto the drive, but he backed up onto hers, outside of her garden, so 
that was okay, but I was watching and seeing you just park there, go on, you just park there. But he didn't. <laughs> he had a bit more sense. So I was just sitting watching the the world go by, actually, because um, like I'm saying, I don't usually say what goes on out the front because I'm usually at the, uh, in the back, but um, I know I'm waiting for a um, parcel coming from one of my subscribers, Sandra, so I thought I'm not going to be doing anything in the back garden because if um, anybody knocks on the door, I'll not hear them, you know, and I thought I'll be doing the front garden for the next few days and well, like she said, it would probably be Monday or Tuesday before, but I thought I'll I'll stick in the the front garden for now until that parcel comes and I, I'll probably have the um the border and all that finished uh, by then like but um I don't know what we're doing tomorrow not tomorrow Sunday because I usually go to my granddaughter's for uh, my dinner on um Sunday but uh, she's had a lot of trouble with her, her cooker at the moment uh, um element I think's gone in that oven and she already had one one of the um the rings that the knob that turns the ring was broken off and it couldn't be she couldn't fix it back on because it wasn't something you could just slide on and then Craig had an accident with a plate and that plate knocked another knob off <laughs> so they had to come up my house for the dinner last um Sunday because she didn't have an oven to cook the um the chicken in and but um, I've told her to give me a message on Saturday and tell me if they're coming up so I'll get all the stuff in for her because she brought all the stuff up last week, all the, the food, the chicken and the carrots and the potatoes and broccoli and everything. If she messaged me on the Saturday, I would have just got them all in myself and done them. Like So she messages me tomorrow and lets us know what's um, happening. So we'll probably be at my house on uh, Sunday. And the kids will be running riot again. <laughs> what they usually do. <laughs> the youngest one, Eddie, is like an adventure when he comes to my house. Because my house, but you can see behind me, I have an archway there. And there's a doorway that goes into the um, into the passage. And you can come along the, the passage and then come through this doorway here. So you can go round and round and round in circles in my house and <laughs> slamming the doors as they go but um you know i see the sheriff you know we should tell them off you know and i see well you used to do the same thing when you were little this you and your brother used to do the same thing you used to run around my house and that's the situation the way the house is situated um a lot of people in the in this this house we put that archway in ourselves um there was a door thing there but a lot of people on on my estate on the houses like that have blocked that um in but i find this house is too hot if that's blocked in i like that open makes a lot of um fresh air in the um the house especially in the um the summer and that being open it's not cold in the um the winter this is a very warm warm house so anyway that's probably what's going to happen on sunday but i'll tell you all about it <laughs> when the time comes so I'm going to put the kettle on. It's five o'clock now and I'm going to do a salad for my tea. I've got some um, potato salad in the, uh, the fridge that I got when I was shopping um, yesterday and I've got plenty of other things, tomatoes and lettuce and stuff like that. So I'm going to have myself a salad for my tea because it's too warm for anything else. And that's my little bit for today. So thumbs up and subscribe and I'll tell you anything else you'd like to know another time. So bye for now.